Yo, Axel here, and today we have here the Kokomi Guide. So, uh, based on my experience, Kokomi is a pretty good healer, but you know, uh, she's not one of the best. She's not one of the best healers out there. Uh, she's like, you know, mid tier. Yeah, mid tier. She's mid tier healer. So as you guys can see over here, uh, with her healing, so you press, you basically press her elemental skill, and then she will heal you like that. But you have to be in the AOE of the skill in order to get healed. I'm just gonna uh, fall off here to get some damage. So that we can get healed. So yeah. Uh, as you guys can see over here, Away. you press E. So as you guys can see there, if you're not in the AO AOE of the skill, you're not gonna get healed. But once you do get in, you will get healed. Look, 8.4k uh, k healing. So yeah, that's pretty good. So uh, with Kokomi's artifacts over here, uh, the best artifact set I would recommend would be the 4-piece Maiden Beloved. If you could only farm those, it would be a really great addition for Kokomi. So yeah, this artifact set is pretty good for Kokomi because the 2-piece set gives us 15% more healing. And on the 4-piece set, whenever you use an elemental skill or her burst, you get 20% more healing basically. So yeah, this artifact set is overall a pretty good artifact set for Kokomi. On the uh, subs, uh, main stats over here, I mean, on the sands, you want HP percent. On the goblet, HP percent because uh, Kokomi's healing does scale with HP. So yeah, you want HP percent. On the ga uh, circlet, you want healing bonus. So yeah, you gotta you gotta balance out the HP percent and the healing bonus. Now, as for the substats, you would either want to get HP percent or energy recharge because uh, Kokomi's burst also does a lot of healing. So yeah, you what you might want to consider that as well. But you know, uh, compared to other healers like you know uh, Bennett, you know uh, Bennett over here is a way better healer than Kokomi. You know, we also have healers like uh, Barbara, but uh, Kokomi is a way better healer than Barbara, so that doesn't count. And we have Diona. Uh, Di yeah, Diona is also a healer. Uh, Diona is a shielder and also a healer at the same time. So yeah. We do have other healers like uh, Kuki Shinobu, which is our first ever electro healer. Yeah. Uh, Kuki Shinobu basically heals you and she applies electro, so that's also pretty good. Now, regarding constellations, uh, the more constellations you get on Kokomi, uh, the more DPS you basically get. So, uh, Kokomi's constellation is basically based on a DPS build Kokomi. So, yeah, if you're planning on making Kokomi a hydro main dps and a healer at the same time you're gonna want to go for her constellations so yeah that's all i want to say on the constellations now for talents uh as as i said earlier her skill yeah does healing uh, aoe over time and then her burst also does healing uh basically whenever you attack opponents it does healing as well so yeah now if you are going to build a damage dealer kokomi you're gonna want to focus on her burst and then her normal attacks because that's where you get the most damage out of a hydro dps kokomi basically so yeah and that is pretty much it uh for this kokomi guide or kokomi build so yeah like i said uh kokomi is really not one of the best healers out there but she's good enough you know like i said uh kokomi is a mid tier uh mid tier healer not a top tier you know you know she's mid tier she's she's definitely a way better healer than barbara so if you want a really good healer who can also do damage at the same time yeah, publishing uh, house has released numerous works that lay out military strategy in a simple and pragmatic way oh, yeah uh so yeah kokomi is for you if you want that so yeah that's pretty much it for this guide video and as always i would really appreciate it if you guys hit the like button because that really helps out a lot and if you're somehow new to the channel you can always go ahead and subscribe you know uh for some new videos uh some new content on genshin impact uh i mainly do genshin impact content stuff uh but you know like i keep saying in my videos whenever when zenless zenless zone zero comes out i'm also going to be making content out of that so yeah and as always see you in the next video